Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, in this video, we're going to talk grit guards. And today, I found a grit guard at one of my favorite stores to go shopping in uh, when I'm on my lunch break. And it caught my eye. And not that I need a grit guard, as you guys can see here. But when I saw it, I said, I got to get that. I got to show everybody this because it's such a good deal, too good of a deal to pass up. Uh, so I purchased it. We're going to show you these first. We're going to go over these first and the prices. And then I'm going to show you what I think is going to be your best bang for your buck. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so before we get this video started, if you like detailing videos, product review videos, ceramic coating videos, how-to videos, videos like this right here, uh, take a second, go down below the video, hit the subscribe button, and then turn on the bell so that every time I upload a video, you do get notified. All right, you guys, so let's dig right into this. I don't want to make this a crazy, crazy long video because it is a, is a video just about um, grit guards, um, but I think it's an important video because we kind of overthink this stuff. What did we do before grit guards? We still washed our cars, and if you did it properly, you really didn't have a problem. I didn't have problems with my cars with, with swirls and scratches before grit guards came out. But for the price of what grit guards cost, and they do work, I will tell you, they do work. All of them, all of these work. Um, for the price you pay for them and just drop it in your bucket, it doesn't hurt to be extra safe on your wash. I just think some people get absolutely too into the moment and it, it just gets so difficult just to wash your car. I just want to go out I just want to have fun. I want to wash my car. I don't want to have to think about this and think about that. I can wash a car with one bucket and one grit guard, like our journey right here. And you're going to, that's how I wash all my cars. And there are zero swirl marks on it. That's how I do it every single time. It's all about doing it safe. And most scratches during wash process come during the drying phase. And that's where your drying aid comes into play to put lubrication between the towel and the paint so you don't swirl and mar your paint when you're drying it. So the first grit guard we are going to talk about is one that I actually sell on my website. It's this one right here. This is made by High Tech. It is made in China. Um, this is actually a really nice grit guard. As you can tell, it is actually pretty thick, as you'll see in a minute compared to the other ones that I have. It's got three finger holes in the middle so you can put it down the bucket. It fits in the bucket nicely. It's nice and secure. It does not float when you uh, wash the car, which is great because that's one thing I hate about some grit guard. Now, if you go onto my website, you're going to see that I'm sold out of these. I have, I think, five or six left in the clearance section. And the reason why the full price ones are on back order. These, I got a box of these that were supposed to be brand new um, and they were brand new, but they were not cut properly. So as you see, these edges are jagged. As you can see right there. I mean, you can tell. And they're actually not cut straight. So in good faith, there's no way that I could charge somebody full price for this and send it to them and act like everything is fine. Um, so there's no way I'd ever do something like that. What you can do, you can actually just grind this down. It's what I did to mine. I have, I have two of these. You can actually grind these down, make them flat, and then you're ready to go. I think I have these on the website for $375. There's only like six left, um, and they're in the clearance section. But these are heavy duty. Look, I can't bend that to save my life. I can stand on this. I have stood on this. This is a very stout grit guard but it's your typical looking grit guard. Nothing, nothing uh, crazy going on here, you guys. Just, just some spots for the dirt to fall through and then the dirt will stay underneath it while you're washing the car. These are 750 at normal price, 375 on the website right now because they're in clearance because of that. So just remember that if you decide to buy one, it's because of this and when you get it. And no, that is kind of sharp. So protect yourself when you pull it out and grind it down. The second grit guard is from a company called Grit Guard. Um, I'm not sure if they're the ones that invented grit guards, but that's the name of their company. So I, I, I could not tell you that, but these are your normal everyday looking grit guards. You can buy all over the, what the internet, Amazon. Um, everybody's got these, you guys, uh, this one actually came in an Adam's bucket that I have. Um, and then this one, same company grit guard, this one's called flex fit. It's a little bit different, but as you can tell, it's pretty much the exact same design, but it's a little bit smaller because some five gallon and three gallon buckets taper more than others. This fits perfect in my turtle wax bucket, but not my, I have an Adams bucket. I have a regular five gallon bucket sitting next to it. It'll float in the water. This one still floats, but not as bad. It can grip if you, if you especially if you have a roll around, uh, whatever you want to call it thing, after dolly, and you tighten the screws down, it'll stay in the bottom of the bucket. Nothing fancy. These are $9.99 a piece on the Grit Guards website. Doesn't matter if you buy the smaller one or the larger one. Uh, $10 a piece for these, you guys, 
And these are what I used when Grit Guards first came out. I had zero issues with it once again, but I have zero, I had zero issues before them. Um, but I did notice that the dirt is trapped underneath of them when you get done during the wash process. One thing that when it comes to grit guards, man, there's just such a debate on grit guards. Um, the people just, they get so almost mad when you start talking about grit guards and everybody has their own crazy opinions about it, but we're just washing cars, guys. It's not crazy. So the most expensive grit guard that I have um, in this video is right here. This is made by the detail guards. Now the detail guards got their start by making these guards that go around your tires and your hose gets on here so it doesn't get stuck underneath your tires. You know, the dreaded, and you're, you're sitting there and you're pulling, you can't get your hose to come around the tire. They got into buckets and they have the best design, in my opinion. Um, this is a fantastic grit guard. This is basically what I use every wash. Um, as you guys can see, it looks like a tornado or a cyclone. So when you actually take your wash mitt and you pump it up and down, it actually creates a cyclone and they show it in their video with a clear bucket and it, it keeps the stuff trapped. And the way that they designed the back with these square slits, it doesn't allow the dirt to come back up. And also the way that this lip is made on here, I know you guys can see this lip right here, it keeps dirt from passing back up on this side also. And the other cool thing about theirs is they have the rubber feet that are replaceable. Um, you can literally put this in a bucket turn it upside down and slam it on top of it. I've done it. It will not fall out. This one is $20. This is, like I said, the most expensive grit guard. That's what they are all called. Not the brand, but grit guard um, in this video. But this is the one that I use all the time. But if you really want to get crazy in your wash process and you're really, really worried about scratching, and this is a little bit overkill in my opinion, and I'm not saying anything bad about the detail guards. They're a fantastic company. Um, they sent me this. They sent me this. Um, they have been really, really good to me and their products do flat out work. It just depends on how much money you want to spend. Um, you know, if you have a baby, whatever your baby is, cause everybody's definition of baby is different. Um, but if you have a baby that you just want to make sure that a thousand percent that you're going to be good, then you won't, you don't mind spending the extra money to make sure that you're safe. And that's where you get into this little contraption. So this is the scrub wall. Now, if you notice the grit guard is underneath here and attaches to it. Right there, you can see where the feet go through. This is the scrub wall, and this goes inside your five gallon bucket. So you can take your mitt and you can scrub up and down. The dirt falls to the outside and it goes down below the grit guard. Um, pretty cool, but this is where it gets expensive. This setup right here is $50. If you wanna buy the grit guard with this, they sell it as a kit for $50. Um, there, you can do just 180. You don't have to do the full 360. You can buy 180 and just do half the bucket. Um, but when you start adding stuff like this to the bucket, man, you're just filling your bucket up with, with stuff. And it's just like, I just want to wash my car. Um, but this is for the people that you're very, very anal and you want to make sure that you have a perfectly safe wash. This is a Canadian company. Um, and when they build stuff, they build quality. They do not build garbage. I can tell you that much right now, you guys. And the other thing that they have, and this is what I use every single wash. I'm going to show you. So this is what I use in every single wash. And I put this down in here. Let me get it lined up here properly. This is called the scrub and pump. Okay. This is called the scrub and pump. This is my favorite grit guard to use. The reason why. So when your grit guard is, or when your grit guard, when your wash mitt is dirty, um, this is not a video about grit or detail guards, you guys. It's just, they have more stuff to talk about. When, you're, when your wash mitt's dirty or when you go back in, because I only use one bucket, when you pump this, what that's doing, that's injecting water into your wash mitt and flushing that debris out, and then you scrub it. So this is called the scrub and pump. So you see these, it's got these ridges. So what I do, I push it down like this, and then I scrub, and then I push it down, and then I scrub, and then I keep going. It works great. You can feel the water rushing up through the wash mitt, which is flushing out all that debris. This right here is going to cost you $17 for this, plus this. So if you buy these two right here, you're going to be about... 37 38 dollars it can get crazy but it does not have to be you do not have to have that you can go with a regular grit guard um, and you're going to be fine just scrub your pad really 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 well um, once again i'm going to say it again people overthink washing their car um, it's not rocket science um, and especially if you're going to be doing a paint correction afterwards you really don't have to worry about a whole lot this is a very very highly debatable subject that People get really, really worked up about, I mean, arguments on YouTube um, and comments about grit guard, no grit guard, uh, two buckets, three buckets, five buckets, 40 buckets, 30 wash mitts, 20 towels, whatever. 
it is crazy what people do to wash their car. Just wash your car. Have fun. You're, you're killing your fun when you're washing your car, in my opinion. Let me show you to what I think is going to be the deal um, out of all of these, even over the one that I sell on my personal website. I was in Harbor Freight Tools the other day. When I go in Harbor Freight, a lot of times I do my lunch break because uh, a lot of dealerships go to lunch noon to one. A lot of the guys do and the managers do. I've talked to managers when I go there. So I usually just find somewhere to shop, antique stores, whatever. Go in Harbor Freight, there's Harbor Freight around. And I usually just right past the detailing stuff because it's all overpriced in my opinion. As I'm walking by, something orange caught my eye. And I was like, hang on a minute. So I kind of stopped and backed up, you know, hit the brakes and backed up. Looked down, I was like, well, that's different. I've never seen that before. And I looked down. And I see this grit guard right here. They call it the dirt guard by grants. This right here was $4.99. That's it. Uh, which is crazy because I just missed it by one day. I could have got 30% off of this, which isn't a whole lot when it's that cheap. But uh, either way, it's going to be the cheapest grit guard that I can find on Amazon or any other store for that matter, you guys. When I saw that price, I was like, Psh, I'm going to make a video because... This may help people. People that don't want to spend a bunch of money on Grit Guard, they can go to Harbor Freight and they can pick this up. Now, the interesting thing about this, I'm going to take this off here in just a second. I just want to leave it on there for you guys. Um, the interesting thing about this is I found this exact one on Chemical Guy's website for $15.99, so three times as much. Um, it's on sale right now for $9.99 when I looked on there, but it's normally $15.99. So then I got on Amazon. The cheapest one I can find on Amazon is $10 from Chemical Guy's because it's on sale. But other ones that weren't Kimmel guys, but look identical to this, $12, $13, $14. Harbor Freight, $5. So that's crazy. Now, I will tell you, I'm not, like I said, I have not put this in the bucket yet, and I will do it in videos in the future, but I wanted to get this video out uh, for this weekend to show you guys this because I thought this was such a good deal. And it can't be any worse than these, and, and that's my, my mindset on it. Um, it says it traps dirt and bucket to prevent swirls and scratches when washing. Patent pending design fits three and a half and five gallon buckets. Reduce paint swirl scratches caused by dirty wash mitts. Works best with a two bucket wash method. Engineered to sink, not float, because I hate floating um, grit guards, you guys. So it does have three holes um, in the middle for your fingers. And what's interesting is they even have holes in them. Even the feet have holes for water to, yeah, you can see the light through there for the water to go through. And this is item number 585495. 58495, right up there. There you go. You can see through it. Now, this is like a hexagon shape and very, very small holes. You see that right there? Let me turn around to the other side. Very, very small. Now, what that's going to do, those small holes should be able to keep the debris from coming back up through because they're basically going to hit the other flat spots. They're not really going to go through the holes. At least that's my take on what it should do. Now, the feet are a lot taller than the rest. The middle fingers do not are not the same length as the feet. But it is nice. It's got the middle fingers in it, so you can pick it up, pull it out of the bucket. But when I saw this, you guys, I just thought, well, that's a really cool design. Um, and I was like, I know I've seen that somewhere. Well, that somewhere was Kimmel Guy's website. Once I once I started searching it and I found it, I was like, I knew I had seen that somewhere. Um, but for five dollars, I don't think you can go wrong. I mean, you can bend it a little bit, but it's still pretty stout. I do worry about these small legs, but honestly, you're not standing on it. You're not running over the, well, you're not supposed to run over the car. Um, so I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. All right. So here is a three gallon bucket right here. We're just going to push this down in here. Okay. It does fit nice. It's not real. Not, it's obviously going to fall out. There's no water in it, but it says it's engineered to not um, float, but it does fit all the sides really, really nice. And then five gallons, same but it is going to fall out. Now, let me show you, let me show you this one since I bragged about it so much earlier. Okay. I probably just met, had the sound all jacked up. It's not falling out. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna say a quote from a guy down in Texas um, don't overthink the moment you guys. And that is, a, and he says, you say that in all of his videos, get out there, have fun washing your car. Um, or, or if it's a customer's car, a $5 grit guard is not going to break the bank. Go buy a home Depot bucket. They're cheap. It's orange. It'll match your grit guard, throw your grit guard in there. And you're going to have like, I don't know, $8 in that total. Um, if you do it for a living, that's pretty cheap. And you're going to have the grit guard. If you got to buy two, if you want to do a two bucket wash method, buy two, $10. 
that's still cheaper than buying one of these. It's the price of one, you're going to get two uh, from Harbor Freight. So Harbor Freight killed it on the price with this. It seems like a very, very nice grit guard, you guys. Um, once again, it is just a grit guard. Get one if you want one. If you don't want one, that is up to you. I mean, everybody has their own opinion. If you want, if you feel safe with a grit guard, go buy it. If you feel like you can do it without a grit guard, you do what you got to do. Wash your car. Have fun. Enjoy the detailing experience. I've said a ton of times in this video because the fun has been taken out of detailing when you start adding all this crap to buckets um, and to like the rinseless washes and 900 towels to do. I mean, the fun is out of it when you start going into that and people just get so anal about it. And I think that the fun is when you can just grab a bucket, fill it with some soap, wash your car, dry it, stand back and go, wow, that looks great. I mean, that's what it's all about, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully this video uh, was helpful for you guys. And if you had not known about this, now you do. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.